Hello Virgo, thank you so much for being here. We're gonna be doing a love reading. We're basically gonna be looking at what you can expect um, in love or in your current connection and where is it all headed next. As always, this is meant to be a general love reading, so it will not resonate with every Virgo 100%. So take what resonates for you, what applies to you. You can check out your other placements if you want additional messages or if you wanna see what other messages could resonate for you. Um, check out the description box. I have all of the playlists for each sign linked there. So let's jump in for Virgo. Spirit, angels, guides, messages please for Virgo regarding love. What can Virgo expect in love? What can Virgo expect in love, Spirit? 2021. I'm basically going to pick three cards for what's going on for you in love and three cards for what you can expect. So let's see what we get for Virgo. Okay, so what's going on for you in love right now? Seven of Swords, Nine of Swords Reverse, the Lover's Reverse, yikes. Gemini energy here with the Lover's Reverse. Well, something is not really great. There could be a disconnect between you and another person. Um, there could be someone that's being sneaky or or just you know hiding something with the seven of swords we'll see what this is about and where is this all headed we have the seven of cups page of swords queen of swords so some sort of important conversation here um truth communication clarity could be dealing with another air sign Gemini is here very strongly. Okay, and the overall energy for you is the Ace of Cups. Wow, at the bottom of the deck here. So there's love. There's love. So what's going on here with everything else? <laughs> I feel like where all of this is headed is like a big, um, important talk. Because someone needs clarity with the Seven of Cups. Okay, can we get clarity, guidance, please, for Virgo? What does Virgo need to know? Okay, so let's start with this Ace of Cups, the overall energy. I mean, I kind of already know what Ace of Cups means. It's, this is a lot of love, new love. So let's see if we can get some, I wanna get clarity on the overall energy before I jump in. Wow, Seven of Swords wants to come out again. I'm gonna take it just because it's already on the board. Spirit, tell me about this Ace of Cups. What can you tell me about this Ace of Cups? It's like someone's being sneaky about their emotions, their feelings here. Wheel of Fortune, tell me about the Ace of Cups. What can you tell me about the Ace of Cups? No, oh, I got two. Seven of Wands and the Strength card, Leo Energy. What fell here? Queen of Cups. Yeah, there's something here with emotions, feelings. That's a bit off. Because I have the Seven of Swords, Seven of Wands came out. Sevens are numbers about like awareness, um, knowledge. Leo energy with strength. I don't know if I already said that. Now, I see the Wheel of Fortune here. And usually when I have the Wheel of Fortune with a card like the Ace of Wands, I mean, not the Ace of Wands, the Ace of Cups or a card like the Ace of Wands, it's almost like a do-over, like beginning again. So new love beginning again, perhaps here. But I feel like there's there's courage needed because there's an opposition or some sort of challenge that someone's standing up against. So it's almost like someone's fighting to love or fighting, to, um, having courage to um, face challenges regarding like love that they feel or love that exists. And I almost feel like they should, there's challenges because of the Seven of Swords. It's like they shouldn't be doing this or feeling this way, perhaps. Let's see, tell me about the Seven of Swords here. Why is the Seven of Swords here for Virgo? Nine of Cups. So someone is spying, hiding, being shifty about what they truly want. Tell me about the Seven of Swords. King of Pentacles, oh, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. 
King of Pentacles for me as a reader is typically married or in a long-term commitment. So that's probably why the Seven of Swords is here. Someone could be in a long-term commitment here. Tell me about the Seven of Swords. Page of Pentacles. What's this? Knight of Swords. So I feel like someone wants... It's almost like they have their eye on something that they want. But I feel like they shouldn't be wanting this or desiring this. This is an energy I've picked up for other signs. Libra had an energy similar to this. Um, who else was it? Um, what was that other reading? Scorpio. I recently did a reading for Scorpio. Yeah, there's this, this is secret. There's the high priestess that just fell out of the deck. This is not something that this person can do in the open, whether this is you, Scorpio, or someone else. You want something secretly that you shouldn't be wanting. Why is the Nine of Swords reverse? Oh, yeah, two. The Magician and the Hierophant. Taurus energy here. So someone's overcoming their fear, their anxiety about manifesting happiness. Let me just look at the deck. Split up. Okay. Four of Wands, Eight of Swords. So there could be somebody that's tied up regarding home. I mean, we do have the Ten of Cups and the Higher Font. So this very well could be somebody that's married. Tell me about the Lovers Reverse. Why is the lovers reverse the hangman? So I feel like even though there's a disconnect in a partnership, someone's still there stuck possibly or uh, stuck even though there's a, like a breakup or um, a separation here. Tell me about the lovers reverse. Yeah, queen of pentacles. King and queen of pentacles are on the board right now. There's death, Scorpio energy at the bottom of the deck. So I feel like there's someone that is in a connection perhaps that's long been over. Or long, like it hasn't been working for a long time. What's with the magician? What do they want? What's, what's the desire, the goal here? Tell me about the magician. Five of Wands, Temperance, Sagittarius energy. So I feel like this is someone that wants to balance something out, resolve something, resolve conflict. Okay, so they're trying to fix something, balance something that's not balanced. So let's look at this um, Page of Swords and Queen of Swords. This is what you can expect. Um, I feel like there's some sort of clarity that's happening here. Tell me about the Page of Swords and the Queen of Swords. A very open, honest conversation. Why is the Page of Swords and the Queen of Swords here? Okay, clarify by the Queen of Swords, okay. Can I get one more for the Page of Swords and the Queen of Swords? I need to know. Death, again, and Knight of Swords. Eight of Wands at the bottom of the deck. This is a conversation. This is a very important conversation. I feel like someone either wants to talk about an ending that has taken place or an ending that needs to happen. Yeah, there's the world. Tell me about the death card. Why is death here? What's this death regarding? Nine of Swords, tell me about death. Why is death here? Six of Wands, Empress, the Fool. So this is definitely all about a new beginning, a new cycle. That's why the Wheel of Fortune, that's what I said, that this could be starting over again. Someone that is starting over again, starting a new cycle, but it, it's because there's an ending that has taken place. I feel like the Empress is here to symbolize what's new, what's growing, what's being created. Um, new abundance, new love. Um, I mean, the Empress, this could re um, represent a person, a particular person that someone values greatly, but I'm not really seeing that as, as strongly. I'm, I'm picturing 
planting seeds in a new garden. They want success here. And there's worries, anxieties about having success. And that's why the Seven of Cups is here. I feel like this is someone evaluating their options, trying to figure out what to do. Not sure of what they want to do. Tell me about the Seven of Cups. Why is the Seven of Cups here? Yeah, Four of Swords. Someone's thinking long and hard before they act. And they're going to communicate before they take action as well. I don't see any cards here specifically about someone taking action. Um, I do see the Page of Pentacles, which is kind of like an offer, but it's more like a promise. I see the Hangman, so I see someone not doing something. <laughs> I see the world and the Fool, you know, that showed up earlier, which is, you know, um, symbols of new, new cycles, new beginnings. And I do see death ending something. But I feel like this is someone that's trying to figure out their next steps before they do them. King of Swords came out. Can I get one more, please, for the Seven of Cups? Four of Wands came out again. Page of Wands, yeah. Um, I feel like this is someone that wants to think really long and hard and maybe get information with the King of Swords or have conversations before this Page of Wands, before action. And it's funny because there's not a lot of wands here. Number one, six of wands, five of wands, seven of wands, four of wands. None of these are action cards, except for the page of wands. It's the only one. And the magician. I should forget about the magician. They are doers. Um, but I feel like this is someone that's with temperance here. It's almost like this is going to take time. Whatever they're doing is not quick. So this is kind of what I'm seeing. I'm seeing that there's some sort of disconnected partnership here that someone is already in. Whether this is you or your person, someone's in a connection that's not going anywhere. Someone's overcoming fear in order to go after what they truly desire, Nine of Cups. And they shouldn't be desiring this. That's why it's a secret desire, Seven of Swords. They're going to have to fight back against different challenges in order to get this new beginning that they that they so desperately seek. And this new beginning is going to require an ending of some sort. And what you can expect is in the near future, there's going to be a conversation that takes place about this ending and new beginning, about the changes taking place. I feel like after this conversation happens, there's going to be events that unfold with this page of wands something that starts to happen some action that someone starts to take right that's what i'm seeing and it's going to be difficult for someone nine of swords someone needs to overcome their fear they need to be strong to do this because i feel like they shouldn't be doing this for whatever reason you know it, it, it takes a lot of courage to go after what you truly want versus what's most comfortable or what you've just always done if that always takes courage but i feel like someone is drawn to the idea of what they can have in this new cycle what can grow here what can manifest here so that's what i have for you um virgo i hope that this resonated for you i hope you enjoyed the reading if you did hit that like button subscribe so you can see more readings from me and I will see you all in another video very soon. Take care.